Hi there, and welcome to the QImage Ultimate video on automatic rendering intent. When we're printing photos using a profile such as this one, we need to decide which rendering intent to use. When using rendering intents, we're often faced with the standard four choices, and we wonder whether we should choose perceptual or relative color metric, because those two are typically recommended for photos. There have been a lot of videos and web pages created to try to explain the difference between these two, so I won't go into them in detail, but let's just touch on them here to see what the difference is. Relative colorimetric will render all in-gamut colors accurately and will only sacrifice color accuracy and detail when it comes to out-of-gamut colors. Perceptual, on the other hand, tends to stretch the entire gamut so that both in-gamut and out-of-gamut colors are sacrificed to some degree to make it seem like you can reproduce colors that are beyond the gamut of your printer. That is, colors that can't be reproduced with the inks that your printer uses. So when do we use these two? Well, it generally comes down to the gamut of the image that you want to print. Let's take a look at this first image here. And this is a low-key image. It doesn't have a lot of bright colors like yellows and magentas, uh, a lot of uh, dynamic range. So let's click the soft proof button here. And we're starting out in relative colorimetric. We can click this gamut check button and look at the out of gamut colors. And if we click it on and off while we watch this area right here, we can see that there are a few pixels that are out of gamut, but generally they're in really dark areas and they're not the subject of interest here. So almost this entire image is in gamut. That is, your printer can reproduce all the colors in this photo. Now let's close this and we'll bring up the second image. And obviously this has some really bright colors in it. Let's look at the soft proof on that one and click the gamut button, turn it on and off, and we can see that there are a lot of areas in this photo that are out of gamut. So you can see that if we're using relative colorimetric, all the colors that are in gamut, that is not clouded out with gray here, will be reproduced accurately. But when we get to the clouded out portions, these are out of gamut. So your printer will reproduce all the colors here accurately, and when it gets to these out of gamut colors, it has to pick colors that are in gamut because that's all your printer can reproduce. So obviously there's going to be some overlap here and you may lose some detail. If we switch to perceptual for this photo, it should be better because the image will look smoother with the color spread out, even though none of the colors will be accurate, your eyes will adjust to it and speaking in terms of the entire image, you'll still have some detail left when you get to these areas that are out of gamut. So perceptual intent, let me turn this gamut off for a second. Perceptual rendering intent will stretch the entire gamut of colors regardless of what the image is. And this is rarely ever mentioned in any of the videos or the instructions that I've seen on rendering intent. And just to give you an example, if we have this image here, we already know that this whole image is in gamut. So we don't need any stretching here for this photo. But if we choose perceptual intent and print this, it's going to stretch all the colors in the entire gamut by the same degree, regardless of the image. So essentially, none of the colors in this image will be accurate. It'll still look good, but we don't need to stretch them for this particular photo. So the deciding factor is really how much is out of gamut. That would be your deciding factor on whether you choose perceptual or relative colorimetric. And it's sometimes easiest to understand the difference by understanding when you should not choose a rendering intent. Let me add both of these photos here. We'll look at the soft proof. 
and again look at the gamut warnings on this, all the out of gamut areas turn to middle gray. So we can see that for this photo, we don't want to use perceptual because the top photo is in gamut anyway. Your printer can reproduce all the colors in that photo, so why stretch them out and essentially water down all of the colors in your image to try to emulate your printer being able to print beyond where it normally can when you can render all the colors accurately to begin with. And down here for this photo, you wouldn't want to use relative colorimetric for that because there's so much that's out of gamut that you don't want to lose detail. It would be better to expand the gamut artificially to make it appear that you can render these colors in here smoothly and end up with more detail because all of the colors will be dulled down just a little bit but that's less objectionable than losing detail in all of these areas here that are gray. So a good way to deal with that is to simply choose the new automatic rendering intent. And what that does is it will pick perceptual or relative colorimetric based on how much of your image is out of gamut. And this is something that's exclusive to QImage. I've never seen this done before in any other software. And it's a first step toward smart color management in actually examining the image to determine which one of these is needed. So if we bring up the soft proof again and we switch to automatic rendering intent, we can hold our mouse over this first photo here. And you'll see that the bottom line on our tooltip there says intent equals relative color metric. So it'll re render all of the colors in this top image accurately because it doesn't need a stretch to um, pick up those out of gamut colors because there really aren't any in this photo. But if we hold our mouse over this photo on the bottom, it says intent equals perceptual. So it's picked perceptual for the bottom one, realizing that there's a lot out of gamut and perceptual would be the better choice. So here with automatic rendering intent, you really don't have to decide or pick a default. I've heard some people say, well, just pick perceptual because you'll have the fewest amount of problems or just pick relative and print it and only switch to perceptual if you see a problem in your prints. Well, you don't have to make that decision for yourself anymore. You can let the software do it and it will pick the intent that's most appropriate. Now, when this prints to your printer, it will use this profile and it will actually render this top image in relative color metric intent and it'll print the bottom one in perceptual intent when it's printing it. Now, of course, you don't have to use the automatic. It's just a quick way of basically allowing the software to look at these out of gamma areas and make the best decision. You could do it manually if you choose to, just like any other program. But one thing that QImage allows you to do is you could select this manually. You can right click on a print and do custom color management settings and say for this print, I want a custom setting and I want to set it myself to relative. And down here, you could do it manually and do custom color management settings for this print, say custom and choose perceptual. And now you've done it manually. The new automatic feature simply allows you to do that without having to manually do it. It'll actually look at the out of gamut areas and make the decision for you. So I hope this new feature allows you to take some of the worry about which rendering intent to choose. You can just let the software decide and if you get a print that you want to manually adjust, you can still do that as well. So enjoy the new feature and thanks for watching the video.